Hi gorgeous, how are you? You are just looking amazing today. Like, oh my goodness, take a look at yourself. Go look at yourself in the mirror, I'll wait. Are you back? Good. Don't you look stunning today? Don't you just look beautiful? You really do. Thank you for joining me. I actually feel a little bit like self-conscious because you are just so pretty and like, I, I, I don't know, I just feel so self-conscious being around you. I, I don't know how to be around people that are this pretty. I just, I don't. But thank you for being here anyway, you gorgeous thing. So you've seen the title. So today I wanted to do a little bit more of this. I believe it's called Franken makeup on the interwebsicles. And that is because, you know, Frankenstein was, wait, no, Frankenstein is the scientist. Yes, yes, Frankenstein was a scientist and Frankenstein's monster was the monster. Yeah, so the monster was like a mishmash. He was a monster mash, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> of different body parts, I think. I don't really remember. But anyway, so that's why it's called Franken makeup because it's like all different things like put together and whatever you get, you just deal with. So today we're doing a little bit more Franken makeup and instead of mixing all of my highlighters like I did before, today I'm going to be mixing all of my liquid foundations. Ah. So I'm going to show you my foundations. So, oh. okay, now to the average everyday makeup goer, this will look like a lot of foundations. To the average everyday makeup artist, this probably won't seem like very much. So basically, in my makeup collection, I have three, no, sorry, I have four big shelving units and they're all completely full of makeup and it's kind of organized into different sections. I have my foundation section and basically I've limited myself to this bar basket and I cannot have any more foundations than what will fit into this basket. So if I want to try a new foundation, I will try it if I like it and I feel like it's got to make the shelf, it's got to make that basket. I have to make a sacrifice, I have to go, well what foundation am I really just not loving? To make sure that my collection does not get out of hand like it has in the past, everything has a compartment and it cannot be filled any more than that one compartment. So at the moment this is my foundation collection, I am loving, well, well, most there's a few in here that I'm like eh. but for the most part I am loving my foundations they are super super cute I reckon I've got like I don't know what 15 in here maybe I'm not I'm not very good at guessing but two of them are stick foundations they're not liquid foundations so they will not be used today but the rest of them it's pretty much a free-for-all do I think this is going to work out well I, I don't have high hopes for it because different foundation reacts to different things differently some of them oxidize really quickly, some of them like just like suck all the moisture out of your skin and go really dry, some of them go patchy, some of them just have absolutely no defense against the oil in your skin and the oil breaks free and the foundation kind of like pills up and breaks away. So I don't know if they're all gonna work together because foundations all have different formulas. Oh yeah, look, we have we have my my screen back. So I have I've got some hooks to put my screen back up and but yeah, now we don't have to look at my nasty wall anymore. So hey, anyone know what the name of those like screens are that are like standing and you like you see like the YouTubers they just go and the screen goes up and what are they called? Because I want one of those and I don't know what they're called, so I don't know what to search for when I'm looking for them. So if you know what they're called, let me know down below. Help me out. So I'm going to be mixing my foundations up in my trusty little dish here. I'm going to be using my little flat foundation brush. This is a Madison M4 brush. It looks dirty. It's actually clean. A lot of brushes when they come with like these pure white tips like this one does, it doesn't matter how much you clean them, they are going to be stained. They may look dirty, they are clean, but those bristles will be stained for the rest of their life. So it looks dirty, but it is clean. So I'm going to be mixing and then applying with the foundation brush and then blending blending it out with a little sponge that I got from Tarte Cosmetics. So let's just go for it, why not? First foundation is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. This is in the shade Shortbread. This is too yellow for me, but I keep it around because I don't know. So I'm just gonna put like just the one pump in from each foundation because otherwise we are gonna end up with loads of foundation. Usually I will only put one to two pumps of foundation on my face anyway. So if you can imagine how much we're gonna end up with here, it's gonna be a lot. Okay, next we have the Kat Von D Everlasting Foundation in the shade Light 012. This one is really nice. Oh, 
Okay. Like already, like the color difference in those two. It's a whole thing. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminous Foundation in the shade 130 Neutral. Oh my god. This is just kind of outing how much I don't know what my foundation shade is. Because look, they're all, they're three completely different colours. Okay, sure. Okay, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in the shade Fair 2. See, now that, oh no, I got it on my, no, I got it on my clothes. Foundation doesn't come out of clothes. <laughs> now this one, you can see, I've just put it in, it's this one here. It's like got a very very different kind of texture to the others where all the others have been really liquidy this one's really creamy so again oh, i don't know i don't know okay this is the charlotte tilbury light wonder youth boosting perfection foundation in the shade too fair very watery no two foundation shades have been the same so far incredible okay now this is one that i really really love and it's almost run out so i am going to buy a new one this is the tarte found sealer in the shade 16b which is a fair light beige now for one that i cannot pronounce it is the uma 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 i don't know the uma foundation it is the say what weightless soft matte hydrating foundation in the shade fair lady again this one is a bit too dark for me some of these i bought online without being able to swatch them and then they get here and i'm like uh, no yeah that is too dark for my skin. The reason I keep the ones around that are too dark for me is for when I go on holiday and I get a tan and my skin tone is a little bit deeper. Uh, that's when these like slightly darker foundation shades come in handy. Okay, now we have the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Pearl. I think this one's too dark for me as well. Uh, yeah, it's it's not because it's too dark. It's just it's got such a horrible like ye like yellowy orange tone to it. it. Does not look natural at all. Okay, now we have the Shiseido. Oh my god, what is this? This is the Synchronizing Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. I really like this. When I went to the shop and I looked at this, I asked the lady helping me, "Is Shiseido Shiseido whatever it's called? Is it cruelty free?" She was like, "Yeah, of course it is." And uh, then when I got home and I looked at it online, I realized it wasn't cruelty free, which is a shame because I really like this foundation. And it means that once I've used it up, I will not be buying from them again because I, I don't want to support people that test on animals. But it's a shame because it is a nice foundation. See, that is a good colour. It's a good shade. This is what it's starting to look like. It's starting to congeal a bit. Oh, this is another stick foundation. I might be using that. Okay, now we have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. Most useless foundation there ever was. This is more of a like a like a little tinted moisturizer than a foundation. This is in the shade Fair Beige. This is very pale. Too pale for me. You see that pale splodge in the middle? That was this one. Again with Tarte, this is the Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation in the shade Porcelain. Now this is going to be hard to apply because it is is a what's it called spoolie so I'm just gonna like try and smear a bit of that on there okay yeah that works that's it over there in the corner it's in a timeout but I'll be able to mix it all together it's, it's okay it'll work okay now we have the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation in the shade too fair this is my holy grail foundation I love it more than anything well no not more than anything because I do like pizza a lot but you know what I mean Oh, it's just the consistency is gorgeous. The color is gorgeous. Oh. But then I also have the same Charlotte Tilbury foundation, but in the shade Five Warm. And again, this is for when I've got a bit of a tan going on and I can go a little bit deeper with my shades. Oh, but for now that is not my shade. Uh-oh, spaghettios. Okay, last foundation. It is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour full coverage foundation in the shade Ivory. When you're pale like me, all the foundation shades are so boring, like ivory, porcelain, beige. Ugh. This one is very creamy. Like all these others are being quite liquidy, but this one, oh, it's, I will show you, hold on. Like, can you see that kind of like little wiggly line there? That is the last foundation. It is so thick and creamy. I don't think it's gonna play nicely with the others. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my foundation brush and we're just going to mix it together. Oh, it's mixing together to make a really cute colour. Wait, what? That's making a really cute colour. I think that's making a perfect shade for me. Oh, wow. Okay. It smells like paint. Okay. 
It looks very thick, it looks very full coverage. Now, most of my foundations, with the exception of a few, are medium coverage because I don't like looking too cakey and as you get older and your skin kind of loses its elasticity and you kind of get a fine line, so the cakier your foundation is, the more it shows. So I try to keep it, you know, medium coverage, but this looks like it's gonna be very full coverage. But you know what, I'm so excited to try it out, so I just wanna get it straight on my face, okay. I don't know if that's a good match or not. It is very thick. Hmm. Well, I guess we just have to, we'll just have to go with it. I mean, I, I don't have an opinion of it yet, but I'm sure I will do. Okay. It's blending out nicely. You know what, once you blend it out, it's not actually as full coverage as it looks. Mm, it is kind of yellowish, possibly a bit too yellowish for me. Okay, I'm just gonna go in and add a bit more on my problem areas. So that is like under my eyes, my T-zone, my chin, and then any areas where I've just got a little breakout of bad skin. Okay, so what do we think? Well, okay, just looking at the skin, I can kind of see that it's a bit of an odd color. It's a bit yellowish. I don't think it creates a perfect match. I, I don't know, like, I don't know what's wrong with it, but there is something wrong with it. Now, if I kind of take a closer look, which I don't want to because, ugh, gross. I, I can see the foundations kind of reacting with each other on my skin and they're not happy about it. I'm just gonna tell you now, that it's not playing nicely. I can already see it kind of oxidizing on the skin. I can already see it separating. Yeah, so that's not fun. Like there are patches that look really dry. There are patches that look really kind of oily. I, I don't know. It's, it's not the worst. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. <laughs> However, now to really put this foundation Franken makeup experiment to the test, I'm gonna need to put on a full face of makeup over the top of it. So I'm gonna do that off camera, then I'm gonna come back with my gin and we are just gonna chat and make a decision on what we think of it. So I'll be with you in a little while. Well, for me, it's gonna be like half an hour. For you, it's gonna be like three seconds. So, okay. Bye. <laughs> okay, we are back. I have a full face of makeup on and you know what? It doesn't look that bad. Like my face feels weird and kind of like dry. Sorry for the awful faces. I'm just trying to gauge how I feel. But no, my face feels kind of strange and a bit dry. I think that's just all the uh, foundations kind of mixing together and settling. It did look kind of weird and patchy and bizarre, but now that it's like settled and dried down, you know, I powdered, I bronzed, highlighted, blushed, done my eyes, it actually looks really, really cute. Have I created something amazing? No, not at all. Am I gonna do it again? No, never. <laughs> Is just using a normal foundation that I love a better option? Of course it is. But this was a fun experiment. Like this was really fun to do. And it's fun to see how it all kind of works together. Like I feel like it's not gonna last very long. I feel like already kind of oxidizing and looking a bit like, like it's a bit of a struggle bus. It really is, but it's not the worst. It's really not. Do you like the little peachy eye moment that I went for? I just used the uh, Morphe Jeffree Star palette and yeah, I think it looks really cute. I don't know, was this experiment a success? I would rate it like a three out of five. Nothing was gained from this, but nothing was lost from this. We're just, it's a, it's a happy neutral. This foundation creation is Switzerland, basically. Okay, that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. I cannot wait for this lockdown, this pandemic to be over so that I can start sending out giveaways. Oh my goodness. I, I have so many things planned for giveaways and I just can't do them until all the countries reopen. Honestly, I'm so excited about giving you guys some free stuff. I'm so excited. If you like this kind of video, let me know by liking, subscribing, ringing the bell and leave me a comment down below and also if you'd like to follow me on any of my social medias that are over here and down there and you'll be able to tell me what kind of videos you would like to see from me if you want to see this same kind of thing again but like maybe with concealers or maybe powder highlighters or or uh, just lip glosses i don't know then then let me know because this is actually really fun to do and i do really really enjoy it 
living my best Farrah Fawcett life over here. I don't know why, whenever I curl my hair, I just can't resist going and breaking it all out and having these big, big, like, bouffanty curls. I just, it's my thing. I like it. I don't know why. I just like it. Okay, I'm pretty sure I should say goodbye now and turn off the camera. I wish I knew how to do intros and outros that weren't a million years long, but I don't know how. I just like talking to you. You're so cute and pretty and fun and funny and amazing. And I just like sitting here talking to you. So I don't like it when I have to say goodbye, but I do have to say goodbye because I have to cook dinner and um, I'm hungry. And if I don't feed Derek, he will start gnawing the sofa. So I'm gonna go. I miss you already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.